It's always a good day to relax with a good book. And here with a few options from the Charleston Carnegie Public Library is director Chris Houchins. Hey, Chris, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. All right, let's talk a little bit about what exciting things have been happening at the library. Yeah, we've, uh, we're really excited. We're doing curbside service. Uh, it's been going really well. Um, it's Monday through Friday, 11 to 5, where people can place hold on anything we have in the building and they can come and pick it up after we call and tell them that their items are ready. It's been and, going really well. Well, good. So what were you doing in the off time while everything was shut down? Dust in the books or what? For the most part, yeah. Uh, <laughs> during most of the shelter in place, I was the only one coming into our building. I was checking the phone and answering emails and emptying the book drop, which never stopped. <laughs> we also tried to provide, I did some online story times and you know, just tried to provide what we can with what we, where we were with our community while also trying to you know, make sure library staff was sheltering in place, staying home and staying healthy as much as possible. Exactly. Okay, so curbside pickup has started, so that's good to know. Yes. And then soon you're going to start offering printing and copying and faxing options as well. Yes. We're, as we're getting used to our new normal, we're going to keep trying to add new services for our community. So we are going to launch copying, printing, and faxing for everybody. And just continue to see what else we can do via curbside, what other service we can provide. Okay, serious question here. How many yeah. people still come into fax? All, all the time. Really? I, I know someone come in today, actually. I had them be kind of like a test run. I was like, we're going to do this fax and just kind of see how it goes. Um, huh. We have people fax out because a lot of government agencies will still only take forms via fax. They won't take them like email as a PDF. So we see a lot of people coming into fax. Learn something new every day. I had no idea it was still a popular <laughs> yes. way to communicate. Okay, you've got a few books for us that may um, sp uh, spark a little interest for readers out there. What's your first selection? Yes. Uh, the first one I've got is uh, Dr. Seuss's Horse Museum. Um, I really like this one. It's not actually a Dr. Seuss, but it's kind of set in that Seussian kind of universe. And what it is, it talks about art and how all these different artists can see the same thing, but paint it entirely different. So this one is actually about horses and it examines, I'll pull up a page here, it actually looks at some actual art of horses we've seen throughout the years, throughout the world of just kind of examining how art can be a million different things when the subject is just a horse. Huh, interesting. You've also got one inspired by all of the space stuff that's been happening um, this yes. summer. Which one is that? This is uh, Astronauts, Women of the Final Frontier. This is a graphic novel. It's nonfiction. It's based on kind of the first women to go into space. You know, it's kind of, it's described as the U.S. may have been the first uh, to put a man on the moon. It was actually uh, Russia that put the first woman into space and then about the U.S. program getting women astronauts and everything it took to figure out how how that would work. Oh, can you um, hold it really up again? Graphic novel. Can you hold that one up again? Yeah. Oh, nice. I love a good graphic novel. I think those are a great way to introduce kids um, who may be a little hesitant to jump into the whole chapter books, at least for my daughter Absolutely. it was. So that's a great one. Okay, and then you've got a final, oh, you've got two more, right? Two more, yeah. Okay. I've got a, a non adult nonfiction. This is The Great Pretender. I'll try and get the glare out of the way. <laughs> by Susan Callahan. Um, this is a, a nonfiction uh, in the 70s. A, um, a doctor and seven others kind of went undercover at a bunch of asylums for mental illness uh, all across the country. And they basically had to stay there until they proved they were sane. Um, and it exposed a lot of the things going on in asylums during that time. And it really changed how mental health practices work in our country. And that's a nonfiction selection. So that's a yes. true story. Whoa, yes. interesting. Okay, what about um, The Boy from the Woods? Yes, The Boy from the Woods by Harlan Coben. Um, this is the story of a man named Wild who actually was found as a boy. He had been living in the wilderness and had no memory of what his life was like. Um, now and as adults, a teenager has gone missing from their community and that it's kind of called upon him to figure out what happened to that team that might expose some secrets about the community and his own past. Ooh, dun, dun, dun. Exactly. <laughs> well, it sounds like lots of great choices there to be found at the Charleston Carnegie Public Library. We appreciate you sharing those with us. 
No, absolutely. Okay, if you need a fax, stay in touch with the Charleston Carnegie Public Library as those services um, as well as curbside are happening. And we'll connect everyone at CILiving.tv. How about that?